All right, gang, let's go ahead and add some special effects into this composite. Now, this student had a fog layer that was there. And the reason that I want to redo the fog layer is because while the fog layer was good, it really obscured a lot of the image. So I want to be able to kind of show you my process for fog. You can use fog in a couple different ways, but you'll see how the fog is really here in the foreground and it doesn't really translate well to the background. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do fog a little bit differently. So this isn't bad, but I think you lose a lot of the story in the bear. And so I'm going to show you how to use fog a little bit differently. All right, let's go ahead and turn that fog layer off. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to create a pixel layer and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move a fog layer. Let's go behind the girl. All right. And we'll call this background fog. Now fog brushes, you can get from anywhere. You can get them over at seven season studios, right? We got a free pack anywhere you want to go, right? All right. So let's go ahead and move forward. So we're going to go over and we're going to go to brushes. We're going to go to brushes. We're going to drop this down and we're going to grab the fog brush. Let's go ahead and smoke and fog starter. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and pick this. Now I like to do my fog slightly off white. And the reason is because then I can tint it in a certain way, but I don't want to make it so bold that we have problems. So I'm going to go ahead and do this in kind of a blue and then I'm going to go in kind of this off white. All right. So let's go ahead and pop that in sort of. All right. Now the reason that I do this the way that I do, just so y'all know, is I want to go ahead and why do we have that layer above? Ah, got to move that layer below. All right. So my bad. All right. I created a new layer. My bad. So the reason that I do this is when I set this up with the hue, saturation and lightness, if I want to desaturate it, I can always turn the fog, right? White. But notice that I turn the whole image. Let's go ahead and bring this into the fog. If I wanted to change the color of the fog, I can't do anything with it. So if I do it slightly off, now I can go ahead and change the color. It's one of those coloring techniques that really helps out a lot. All right. So on this background layer, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to reduce the opacity down a little bit because I don't want this to be the whole thing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stretch it up a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I will probably apply some different type of blend mode. So let's play blend mode roulette here. Okay. Now I'm pretty confident that I know that I'm just probably going to go with a lightning, but I always like to see what it does. Maybe it gives me something like that that I hadn't necessarily thought about. Go ahead with linear light. I think that that's pretty cool. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and drop that down a little bit. And because I don't want this to be 100% I'm going to go ahead and add a mask layer to it. So let's go ahead and add a mask layer and let's make this a gradient. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make this a radial gradient. I'm going to start in the center and I'm going to pull this out. All right. Now let's go ahead and reverse it. And I don't want the fog on my person. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now you see the further we pull this gradient out. The more fog we get on the outside. So this is actually going to help us out quite a bit. All right. Right about there, possibly. All right. Cool. So you'll notice how we got the fog in the background without obscuring any of my members of the foreground. Now, let's go ahead and create a new layer here up above. Go ahead and pixelate that. Boom. Let's go ahead and grab a fog brush. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some fog just down here. Now notice how low I'm putting this. All right. Now this one here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring this up. 
And again, I'm not obscuring her, right? And what I want to do now is I want to, again, mask it. So we come in down with the mask layer. I grab the gradient tool. I'm going to go ahead and reverse this thing here. And we're going to go ahead and go to black on this. Okay, I'll probably go into kind of like a gray. All right, that'll work. So now take a look at this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go take those two off. Notice how much now we've changed that look of it. And the bear is a lot more pronounced with this and this rather than the white. All right. So that's a little bit on how to do the fog portion. Now what I'm going to do is I want to reveal partially this bear. So I'm going to come over here on the mask layer. I'm going to grab my brush. And now I'm just going to use a soft round brush. And let's go to here. That looks good. Let's make sure we've got the black to conceal. And let's turn the flow down. I think 25 will do it. And let's make this big. All right. See how we just kind of revealed the bear out just a little bit. I didn't bring it all the way out. All right. So I think that this is going to work there for the fog layer. Let's go ahead in the next one. And I'm going to show you how to do my finished color grading on this so that we can tie this thing all together. All right, we'll see you in the next one.